Well, hi everyone. Rapida Dam's back in the news, at least uh, the bridge associated with this project. So let's roll this footage. It just came out yesterday. So that was the explosive demolition of the Highway 9 bridge in Blue Earth County in Minnesota. This is the location about 10 miles south of Mankato. This is what the dam looked like in better times. The whole dam was scoured out on the left abutment uh, during a flood event at the end of June 2024. I did a number of videos about this and here I want to present uh, what the aftermath has been and what the cleanup is involving. So a few background stats. This dam was built in 1908 to 1910 and it was a hydroelectric dam, generated electricity, and it stopped functioning following a flood event in 2020. So I wanna thank a viewer from Nebraska, John. He was kind enough to send me this 1922 vintage postcard of Rapid Dam with very neat yet very small cursive writing. Cursive writing's becoming a lost art. I don't think I could have ever written that small uh, in, in my heyday of cursive writing. So. Here's a couple of images of that postcard. And again, thanks John very much for sending that. That's the, the cool thing about having this channel. All kinds of people reach out, share information. I learn all kinds of new things, so I really appreciate it. So as a reminder, this is what flood event looked like at the end of June, 2024. Overtopped and scoured out the left abutment as well as the bridge piers. The highway bridge was closed immediately. I had this drone footage done back in August of 2024. You can see all the debris that accumulated on the upstream side of the pier. And of course the scour hole developed on the downstream side of the pier, undermined the bridge pier footing and exposed several feet of piling. So this is the bridge that you saw in the opening shots that was demoed. I'm gonna show more of the demolition footage here in, in a moment. But quite the mess. On the left hand side you can see a parking lot slab. There used to be a store called the Dam Store that sold pies and burgers and the people who ran that lived in a house that unfortunately fell into the river. Now let's look at some of the scour underneath the, the bridge pier. You see the exposed piling. So the county determined that the bridge really wasn't salvageable and instead they were gonna to have to replace it at the cost of about $20 million, I think was the last estimate that I heard. But these piling were installed through the silt that had accumulated since 1910 behind the dam and they were in bearing on bedrock. So once the soil around the piles were scoured out, uh, the capacity was inadequate for the piling. But these are great drone shots. This is a drone flight I commissioned, as I mentioned, back in August of 2024. Just a view of the bank that scoured out. And this was my most uh, recent video on the project. Now let's roll this demo footage. This is sped up to 12 times normal speed because it took a long time for the dust cloud to dissipate. So I figured you don't need to watch uh, three minutes of a dust cloud dissipating. So here we go. I suppose they're gonna work on taking out the approach span at a later date. So I've got an update for you on the timeline. So I reached out to County Engineer and Public Works Director, Ryan Tilgus, and I sent him this email, and this is what he responded with. I asked him what the completion date for the demolition would be, and he's looking towards the end of February 2025 for interim completion date for removal of all bridge components between piers one and four including removing piling on piers two and three. The completion date for the remainder of the bridge removal and site restoration is April 7th, 2025. 
Then I asked him how much the demo contract was, and it was $1.1 million to Hosier Worldwide. They're planning to remove the dam completely, and there's no definitive timeline set for that, according to Mr. Tilgus, as there are numerous variables outside our control, including FERC licensure surrender. FERC has jurisdiction because of the power generation permit. FEMA funding and potential need for additional state funding authorized by the legislature to help span any potential FEMA funding gap, project environmental documents and permits. But it's estimated that the demolition work for the existing dam will start in the beginning of 2027, so a couple years away. So with that, I have a book review here, a well, mini review. I've been talking about books that I have read recently. If you're interested, there's an Amazon link in the description. And this one's a tough one because I enjoyed this book, discussion about Area 51, its history. And uh, if you like knowing more about the development of stealth aircraft, uh, if you read Skunk Works book, this book kind of fills in some additional background information. But uh, I can't quite recommend this book per se. Uh, at the end of the book, uh, there was something from the author that I think largely discredited the book in its entirety. And that is, uh, she, the author apparently met with a confidential informant. They wouldn't name that person. And this person alleged some pretty outlandish things relative to the Roswell incident in 1947. And things involving gravitational drives, which certainly there's no evidence for. And just all kinds of outlandish things involving small humans that were supposedly on this craft. And I, I don't want to go into details, it's too, too goofy for me. But anyway, <laughs> it was an unusual enough book that I thought I'd at least mention it. So I want to send a shout out to those of you who contributed to buy me a coffee. That's been an excellent source of support for this channel. I use those funds to defray production costs, uh, drone flights, things of that nature. And now lately, some costs I'm incurring to fend off people who would like to muzzle uh, me on this channel. I mean, I'm exercising my First Amendment rights. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not backing off on these stories. Uh, Rapid Ed Dam's not really a controversial story, but I cover others that uh, people in government agencies don't seem to appreciate. Uh, also, I want to send a shout out to those of you who are channel members. That's another way to support this channel, as well as those of you who provided super thanks. Again, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much, everyone, and please stay tuned for future videos.